Hey everyone, it's Robert Weinberg, your mortgage advisor and financial coach. And in this short video, I wanted to talk about appraisal tips when refinancing a property. So if you are in the process of refinancing or will be soon, this can definitely be of help to give you some good information and some tips that could enhance the value of your home and make sure that you don't have any surprises at closing. So the first thing I want to discuss is the PIW. Now what PIW stands for is a property inspection waiver. Now this is just something that's come out in the last couple years uh, through conventional mortgages, which would be Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac. PIW does stand again for Property Inspection Waiver, which allows you to actually have a waiver of a uh, appraisal on your property. Now this is going to do a couple things. Number one, it'll speed up your loan processing, usually allow you to close about a week to 10 days early. Number two, it'll make sure that there are no uh, unexpected issues when it comes to the value of your home. So the way a PIW works is that your mortgage advisor or loan processor at your mortgage advisor's office will run your loan through an automated underwriting system and they'll have an estimated value on that of what your property is worth. Now if Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac do agree that the estimated value on your home is realistic and they will uh, assure that, then at that point they'll issue a property inspection waiver and you do not need to have an appraisal at all of your property. So again, this is definitely the preferred way to go and with the advents in technology, um, this is becoming more and more common. So check with your mortgage advisor uh, to see if this is possible in your case. It's not available on all property types and it's not available on loan type on all loan types. So again, double check with your advisor for more info. Assuming that you do need an appraisal on your property, you're gonna wanna make sure that you are there for the appraisal. Uh, you have no idea how many clients that I've worked with over the years that'll have an appraisal uh, appraiser come to their home and maybe their, uh, you know, their nephew is there and he'll let the appraiser in or you know, a spouse is there, but they don't really have any information that is good for the appraiser. So you as the borrower, as the one who's heading up the loan process, want to do whatever you can to be there for the appraisal. And the reason is we'll get into in these couple uh, tips. So you want to be able to give the appraiser a list of upgrades that you've done. Any and all work that you've done since you bought the house, you want to put onto a spreadsheet or some sort of list that you can give to them because they're going out there blind. Most of the time, maybe they've done a little bit of research online, but they don't have a lot of info on your property and specifically the work that you've done. The more information you can give them when they're at your property, the better. And I've found that accomplishing this with my clients is best done by putting just a list of upgrades and work that you've done since you purchased the property. This will make sure you maximize the value and get all the value that you can out of your home. Next is walking the appraiser through the property. So this is gonna go along with just the upgrades and work. As you're showing them throughout your house, you can point out the different work that's been done, point out the upgrades that you've done, and make sure that you're getting full credit for any and everything that you've uh, completed. And it may not seem like a big deal to you, but I actually had an appraisal about two years ago now where a client was not there for the appraisal. Their spouse walked the appraiser through and didn't mention that they had a heated garage. So when that appraisal came back, we noticed that there was no heated garage listed. We had to go back to the appraiser and mention it to them. And just that little thing added $5,000 to the value of their home. So I always tell that story now so you know kind of what the real reasoning is behind it. And there's one story, and I could tell you others, but there's one where just being there, giving them the list of upgrades and walking them through with detail allowed this one particular client I'm talking about the value of their home to go up by $5,000. So walk them through the property and make sure that you, um, you know, notate with them verbally the work that you've done so that you're getting full credit. And last but not least is get personal. Appraisers are human beings like any one of us. And they like working with other human beings that are personable. So don't be mean, don't be catty, don't be uh, negative when they're there. Try to be positive and friendly. Um, Will that enhance the value of your home? I don't know, but it can't hurt. And when the appraisers writing up your report, if they know that you're personable and you are a nice person to deal with, it can't, again, it can't hurt. It can only help and enhance the quality of the appraisal and the value of your property. So hopefully this gives you some great info that you can use when you're having your home refinanced and dealing with the appraisers so that you can maximize the value and the uh, quality of the appraisal that you're getting, making sure that there's nothing missed and that it's thorough and complete. As always, you can reach out to my office either by text or call me directly, 860-413-3938. And if this has been of help, feel free to comment and like this post. And you can subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the link below. And thanks for watching. Take care.